Politics is suddenly ripping this country apart. On college campuses, students attack free speech in the name of tolerance. Civil rights activists have abandoned their worthy old causes to obsess over abstractions like global warming. In this once Christian country, leaders are now demanding that we bomb Bashar al-Assad, endangering the lives of the world's oldest Christian community. We'll hit all of those issues tonight, plus they're eating horse meat in parts of this country, amazingly. But we're going to start with the FBI's efforts to spy on the Trump campaign back in 2016. That happened. There's a lot more evidence for it than there is for collusion with Russia. But not surprisingly, the media response has been predictably dishonest. Here's a selection. President Trump doubles down on his baseless claims of spies. This so-called spy issue, first of all, there's absolutely no evidence there was a spy. So it's really a fake issue. It's this phony baloney story about a spy on the campaign. To call them a conspiracy theory is to give them too much credit. Just fake facts. They're liars. Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, as reliable a barometer of mindless conventional wisdom as exists on planet Earth, explained it this way in a recent interview. Quote, a confidential informant is not a spy. Well, Senator Graham did not explain what exactly a confidential informant is, if not a spy, because, of course, they're one and the same. A confidential informant is someone who is informing confidentially, in other words, spying. And any senator who pretends otherwise is prevaricating, in other words, lying. Dan Bongino has been following the Russia story since the very beginning. He's a former Secret Service agent and a contributor at NRA TV. Dan, you've been on law enforcement your whole life. If I'm confidentially informing on you, what am I doing exactly? Tucker, this is the most uh, of, a, of a series of sickening, disgusting, disturbing episodes by the Pravda. No, no, they're not even Pravda. You know, because Pravda was at least honest about being dishonest. The Pravda media now pretends that they're actual journalists distributing facts. Keep in mind, Tucker, they want to do counterintelligence, these people. They can't even do journalism. Now they're pretending to be counterintelligence and law enforcement agents. This is the most dangerous cover-up by the media I have ever seen. Every serious person in law I said serious, by the way, in law enforcement that I know, not the hacks out there trying to cover for this, knows what happened here was a spying operation. SPY, SPYY, if you're Joe Biden. <laughs> this was a spying operation. Period. But Full can, stop. But can, but Anybody am I, who tells you otherwise is, is well, joking around. Well, they're all around, telling us otherwise. Over. They're all telling us otherwise, yeah. which is why I'm beginning to doubt myself. I'm open-minded. Tell me, sincerely, am I missing something? They're saying it wasn't a spy, it was a confidential informant. Is there some difference that I'm missing? Uh, yes, you, there is, Tucker. But the difference works against the Pravda media, not for these jokers, okay? Here's how we would commonly, in, in the law enforcement intelligence arena, where I had intersected and worked for most of my adult life, it would work. An informant is actually someone already existing inside of an operation who right. would inform on the operations of said operation, the mob, whatever it may be. A spy would likely be someone you bring in who is not a pre-existing member of the operation. You try to insert and intersect with that organization to get information to either prosecute them or investigate them on a CI case, which means the guy in this case was a spy. These knuckleheads are, are, Tucker, you understand this is full-blown propaganda? I this do, is so but I mean, e either way, the person's function is the same. He's spying. He's gathering information, not telling you that he's doing it and sending it to a third party. By the way, if this was done, and again, I'm asking dumb rhetorical questions just because they keep throwing this at you, like black is white, two plus two equals eight. I just want to make sure I got this right. If they were doing this for the benefit of the Trump campaign, as Clapper is now claiming, wouldn't they have told the Trump campaign, hey, we're worried that the Russians are trying to penetrate you? But they didn't. Well, Tucker, if this was for the benefit of the Trump campaign, why not equally assist and support the Hillary campaign, right? I mean, Hillary's husband yeah, had taken $500,000 in a speaking fee from a Russian bank. Why not equally, the dreaded air quotes here, help them too and put an FBI uh, <laughs> confidential human... <laughs> It's a scam. I mean, why, what's in the, Tucker, the euphemism game. What is it next going to be? An undocumented FBI employee? This is so destructive because the American yeah. people, liberal Democrat, whoever you are, you need to understand a gross disservice was done here. 
There were illegal leaks and there was a potentially illicit spying operation for political reasons. Everybody, vote for whoever you want to vote for. I don't care. I'm just telling you what happened here was an abomination to the republic and the media is covering it up. It's amazing that they're going along. I mean, it's one thing to see Nancy Pelosi defend the indefensible. That's what she does. But to see reporters, a lot of whom I know and, and am friends with, have known a long time, they're lying about this. I actually find it shocking. Dan, thank you for the clarity on that, as always. Yes, sir.